Yo, what's up, Brick Street fans? It's Adam here from Brick Street Boy, back with another video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at my brand new custom showcase from the newest addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Now, if you didn't know this already, LEGO actually made two sets based on the previous Ant-Man films. One for Ant-Man, and one for Ant-Man and the Wasp. And I happen to have neither of them. But honestly, if you like me and didn't pick up on them, you honestly didn't miss out on much. I mean, what even is that wasp helmet. That is an abomination and a half. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first up is Scott Lang, aka a man, and as I mentioned, doesn't use any pieces from the original, so I had to get creative. But I love the way it turned out. Dare I say, might actually be better than Lego's one. Anyways, his hair has come in many places, but I pulled it from a Tony Stark minifigure. His face is from Poe Dameron. That toss on the legs is from Hawkeye in Age of Ultron, and then to add some extra red detail, I used some black and red dual moulded legs from any of the Incredibles, but more specifically Mr. Incredible from the first CMF series. So yeah, that is Scott Lang, and I love the way it turned out, probably one of my favourites in the showcase. So yeah, that brings us on to our next minifigure, Jack Hope Van Dyne, aka Wasp. Here is Wasp, who I'm not super happy with how it turned out, like, it kind of works I suppose. But, yeah. Her hair is from a Shark Army General from the Lego Ninjago movie. Her face is from Maria Hill. Her torso is from Black Vulcan, just turned backwards. Some black and yellow arms were later added with some black hands. And the legs were, are from the CMF Diver. Also gave her this neck bracket, which came on places like... What's his name? Like, Vulcan from, the, from Infinity War. To kind of represent the wings, couldn't find a way to properly build them. But, yeah, it, it is what it is. So, yeah, that is Wasp. That brings us on to our next minifigure, Cassie Lang. Here is Cassie Lang. Her hair is from Maria Hill. It's the black ponytail. Her face is from Hermione from Harry Potter. Her torso print is from Batgirl in the Lego Batman movie, which is turned backwards, with the arms from a CMF Night Protector, black hands, and then the legs from a TIE Fighter pilot. So, yeah, that is Cassie Lang, who I think turned out really well. And that brings us on to our next minifigure, Hank Pym. Here is Hank Pym. His hair is from Vernon Dursley in Harry Potter, and his face is from old Obi-Wan Kenobi. I, because in, if you remember this film, he ditches his glasses. So yeah, he, I gave him the spread neckerchief. It's also from Mad Eye Moody, with some medium nougat hands, and then the legs, which I'm assuming from Qui-Gon Jinn? Not entirely sure. So yeah, that is Hank Pym. That brings us on to our next minifigure, Janet Van Dyne. Here is Janet Van Dyne. Her hair I pulled from Mrs. Scratch and Post from the Lego movie. Her face is from the Trolley Witch in the Hogwarts Express. That torso and legs is from Fred Weasley in the, in the second Harry Potter series, series, but the torso is turned backwards, and then she's using some dark red arms. Here is Lord Kryler, played by Bill Murray. His hair is from an I pulled from an old man Lego City, but it's come in other places like Doctor Who. That face print is just very commonly reused, but I pulled from Draco Malfoy. You can also get it from like Happy Hogan or Shang Chi, then people, and then his torso and legs are from Obadiah Stane in Iron Man. Yes, that is Lord Kyler. Then that brings us on to our next minifigure, who is the man you've all been waiting for. Here is Kang the Conqueror. His hair is from Finn from Star Wars. His face is from Justice League Cyborg. The, the shoulder armour is from the CMF Series 19 Bounty Hunter. The torso's 2012 Loki's turned backwards. Per, just on some purple arms and some reddish brown hands. The, the legs are from Mysterio. And then he's using a dark green cape, which I pulled from 2010 Quidditch Draco Malfoy. So yeah, that is Kang the Conqueror. For Modoc, I just used a clown because that basically just sums up his entire performance in the movie. Literally. He was just made a joke throughout, didn't utilise him to the best of his ability, he looked stupid, and then they killed him off in the end. Yeah. So yeah, that brings us on to our to the end of our showcase. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more awesome LEGO videos. Goodbye.